Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing and doing an overview on the new Photo Deox XL1 Plus. I believe that's what it's called. Maybe plus one, one or the other. Anyways, I have it right here. It just came in from B&H, so I'm going to do an unboxing and I'm also going to uh, compare it, the actual, the outside, the physical aspect of uh, this speed booster compared to the Metabones, very popular speed booster that I actually use on all my videos. So let's go ahead and open this up. Okay guys, so I'm not trying to share my address with everybody, so I took those labels off. Let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, well, little cardboard box, shipping papers, bubble wrap, kind of standard. All right, so let's get this in focus for you guys. What do we have here? Photo Deox Pro Lens Mount Adapter, Nikon XL Plus One, made in China, and Photo Deox, it looks like maybe a serial number right there. So definitely not, no um, impressive packaging on Photo Deox part, but I guess we're not buying the packaging, we're buying this adapter. Let's go ahead and pull this out. All right, so there you see the Photo Deox uh, Pro Nikon G XL Plus One adapter. A couple caps, this one says micro, I don't know what that means. Micro Four Thirds, I'm guessing. Um, and this has some kind of design and it says open this way. There you go, you see the glass in there, metal mount. And uh, there's a little release. That feels pretty good. Other side, oops, lost the cap there. Okay, we have, uh, looks like it's all one part, the back part of this. And you have that glass inserted there. And we have the aperture control. There you go. All right, now let's compare it to the other Metabone Speed Booster. All right, guys, so here is the Metabone Speed Booster. Now, I have two of them in my possession, and uh, I have one right here and one I'm using. And here is the Photo Deox XL Plus One. So I'm gonna just talk about the differences. Um, one first thing that kind of got my attention is the Photo Deox actually has like a bluish tint um, on the glass itself. Now I'm not sure if that's gonna come through on the images, we'll see later, uh, but the Metabones is completely clear like you would expect it to. So second, uh, the bodies are a little bit different. The Metabones is aluminum, and it's uh, I'm guessing it's anodized, but the back and the front, they're both a silver, not anodized kind of mounts that can be disassembled. Now the Photo Deox one on the front here, where your Nikon lens goes, uh, there is the silver uh, non-anodized aluminum, but the back is all one piece. So as you guys can see there, there is the difference. Um, next we have the little release levers. Uh, the Metabones one is plastic, but it still feels solid. The Photo Deox one is a metal one. It actually feels maybe even a little bit better. And uh, another difference is on the bottom here, the Metabones actually has a little... I don't know what to call it, foot or extender, where you can mount your tripod on. That way, if you have a heavy lens, um, it kind of puts less strain on the whole uh, system. Instead of having the body mounted onto the tripod, you'll have it mounted here, and then your camera's mounted to this, the lens is mounted to this. And this is definitely solid, so you shouldn't have an issue with it. The Photo Deox one does not. So if you're having maybe a 70 to 200 on here, I don't know if it's gonna make a difference, um, but just something else to consider. The actual aperture controls, they both have them. The Metabones has this nice one that's numbered from F, which is completely open, to seven. So you can adjust it, and that kind of gives you a reference point. Now, this isn't exactly what your aperture would be, but if you have to set a couple cameras to the same setting, let's say, or just anything else, you can kind of look at that, it gives you a reference. The Photo Deox has a reference point as well. It's not numbered, but it's these little, uh, let's see, kind of pictures, I guess. It's kind of painted on, and it shows from wide open to completely stop down. And they're both clickless, but the Metabones has a lot more range. I would say probably about four times more uh, range of adjustment, so you can get it a lot more fine. The XL, has uh, just a lot shorter of a range, maybe half an inch, maybe even a little bit less than a half inch of adjustment. So you're gonna have to have a harder time adjusting your aperture exactly to what you want it set to. 
Now, um, the other thing is the XL is very, very easy to move. Uh, it's not a lot of friction there, which could be a bad thing if you are um, in a situation where you, so it could be rubbing, you could accidentally change the aperture during shooting. You don't really want to do that. Now, I don't have experience with it. I don't know if that's going to happen, but it seems like it might be able to happen. The Metabones, on the other hand, has a lot more friction when you're adjusting this uh, aperture control. And I would say it's going to be a lot tougher to accidentally bump that. So I think that is it. Um, I'll finish off this video as far as just the physical comparison. Um, they both feel solid. I would say the Metabones is probably a little bit heavier, but they both have a nice heavy feeling to it. Now here is a fit test for you guys. Here's the Photo Deox adapter. Fits on uh, fairly decent. And we'll grab the Sigma 18 to 35 and throw this on. So there is a little bit of play. It's definitely not bad. And the Metabones also has some play, but everything clicks in well. The lens removes fairly well, fairly easily. And the Photo Deox adapter also uh, comes out easily as well. Let's try the Metabone Speed Booster. Okay, so there's actually a little bit more play than the Photo Deox adapter. And throw on the Sigma 18 to 35. So this one also has some play, slightly more than the Photo Deox. So that's impressive. And both of my Speed Boosters have the same amount of play in them. All right guys, so I'm gonna show some sample footage just so you guys can see something shot with the Photo Deox XL Plus One. Uh, but this is just kind of for fun. I'm gonna actually have some comparison footage of the XL Plus One compared to the Speed Booster. So you guys will see if there's any difference in aliasing, moire, if it's a sharp, those kind of things that are very important. Pause that really quick. Now I am outside shooting that sample footage that I was talking about. I have a bunch of lenses inside my bag to test out the camera set up here with the adapter and I came across the issue already now um, the speed booster does not like really fast lenses which is a big downfall now I'll just go ahead and let those sample shots run as I finish off uh, the video which was pre-recorded uh, before I came out to do these shots just uh, see what I write down there below the samples and uh, what apertures work and what don't and keep an eye out for that update video which is actually the comparison between this speed booster and the Metabones speed booster now of course the reason you guys are probably watching this is because you're intrigued of the price 140 to 160 dollars compared to 430 450 that's a lot of a just a huge price difference now if it's actually going to work out and it's going to be sharp and there's not going to be any other image issues it's going to be fantastic but if there are those issues um, definitely uh, it's going to change the whole equation because you do want something that's going to be uh, optically uh, great quality it's going to give you a great image especially if you're putting money down let's say for a GH4 it's going to be worthless if you throw something on it's going to mess up the image so I'm going to have that video up uh, fairly soon I'll actually give you guys some photos to download as well uh, so you guys can do some pixel peeping and check it out uh, check out you know the sharpness kind of that type of stuff and so if you guys are interested in checking out this product I'll have a link in the description I'll have a link to the Metabone Speed Booster as well if this is your first time seeing one of my videos, definitely check out my channel, see what else I have up. I have videos on the other speed booster, different lenses on the GH4, filmmaking type stuff. So you'll definitely enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys um, are interested in my, the content that I create. Now, if you have any questions on uh, this Photo Deox that I can answer for you, go ahead and write that in the description and I'll do my best to answer any questions and maybe put some of that content into the next video. So uh, look out for that video. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Make sure you don't miss that. And we'll see how well this compares to this. Have a great day, guys. See ya.